Well, since we spoke to those women you've just seen in the last half hour, we've discovered that the Lib Dem leader, Nick Clegg, has said he's insisting the Lib Dem whip is withdrawn from Lord Renard over his failure to apologise. And we did ask the Liberal Democrats for an interview and attempted to contact every single one of the party's peers, but no one wanted to speak to us tonight. But with me now to discuss the wider impact on the party is the young Lib Dem activist Natasha Chapman and Anne McAvoy from The Economist. Natasha, first, do you welcome this turn of events tonight? I think it's very important that uh, Nick Clegg has showed his support for those who were brave enough to come forward uh, and make these allegations. And I think it is important that he has signalled that the behaviour is unacceptable and that Ronald should apologise. Anne McAvoy, where does it leave Nick Clegg, particularly given Lord Renard has a significant amount of support in the Lords, doesn't he? Well, that is the problem, that there's really a collision course now between Nick Clegg and Lord Renard, which has moved on one step towards the Lords. That's not an environment that Nick Clegg can control as easily as he could if it were in the Commons. Remember that Clegg's a relative newcomer to Parliament. You've got a lot of people in the Lords who know Renard as a great election strategist for the Lib Dem, someone who's enhanced their chances. And frankly, also, there's a generational question here. The Lords, a lot of men of Lord Renard's age and above who probably don't take such a dim view of this behaviour as Natasha and a lot of, of young women activists. So there, is a, there are many clashes all going on together. And really, Nick Clegg has to prevail, otherwise he's going to look extremely weak. Well, Natasha, there is an issue, isn't there, that a lot of uh, the older generation in the Lords so ever since these allegations surfaced, many of them have said, well, what's the problem? Yes, uh, and that has been quite disappointing, particularly when uh, people like uh, Baroness Shirley Williams have said things to that effect. Um, I think that the older generation does have uh, this view that it's something that ha just happens and that you should put up with it, uh, which isn't really, isn't really an acceptable view. Uh, but do they have a point in some ways that, you know, the culture was different a few decades ago and they're still living under that sort of culture really? Well the reason the culture was different is because it was one of the earliest points where you had women coming into the workplace which was previously just a male space and uh, I think that even then even though it wasn't viewed as such it was still unacceptable to touch somebody against their will or against their wishes just because they happen to be female and that you happen to find them attractive isn't acceptable. But you see, I think a lot of people in the Lords, including a lot of women who are experienced at, at Westminster, one has to, uh, to grant them that, think, well, the young women themselves should have said, I'm sorry, up with this, I will not put, you know, that they shouldn't have stayed silent for so long and that, that there was in some ways a kind of failure there. Now, I understand your position very well because I know that the, the pressure, particularly on women looking for seats who need preferment and need the support for people like Lord Renaud in any party, not just him. They need these people to get on. They often don't come forward, but I think you know, one has to remember that some people in the Lords will take that view. Do you think there's any prospect now that Lord Renaud could immediately apologise and stay within the party? He hasn't looked like he was feeling very sorry. He really doesn't look like he wants to say sorry regardless of how he feels about it. I thought at one point that he might come forward, he still has this option with a slightly weaselly, I'm sorry if anyone was offended. That would be very difficult actually, because I think really what people want is an apology for his behavior as far as we know that it's been reported. But at the moment, you see, I think he really does feel, and some of his uh, allies feel the same, that he's been sorely misjudged in this affair. And of course the QC did say that you hadn't hit, or the, the complainants hadn't hit the bar that would be applicable in a legal case. There wasn't in any sense any kind of criminal bar being crossed here. So I think he feels that because he's legally in the clear, that he's morally in the clear. I don't think that is necessarily true, but I think he's conflating two things. Natasha, Nick Clegg's basically issued an ultimatum to Lord Renard and has been for several days, but that's stepped up a gear tonight. How do you think Lord Renard will react to that? I'm not sure how Lord Renard would react. I mean, obviously, we would quite welcome him um, actually making that apology which was recommended by the QC for the distress he's caused. And would you be happy for him to stay in the party if he does that immediately? I think it would be an important first step because he'd be acknowledging that the behaviour is not acceptable and that would make it safer for women who have to work with him because he is obviously um, he has obviously got quite a position of power not just in the Lords but within the party not, and by reputation and also sitting on a couple of party bodies where he'd have to work with young women.
who might otherwise not feel I don't safe. I think they'd be rushing at once to work with him. You see, I think that's the other problem. Is we can talk about this, uh, Cathy, and what you know, what the letter of, of procedure might say. But we all know politics is about people wanting to be in a cause together, wanting to be in a room together and fight things out towards the election, feeling comfortable with each other. And once you reach this pitch of discomfort, I think Lord Reynard would probably say, if it was about someone else in the party, that it's not tenable. Anne McAvoy, Natasha Chapman, thank you very much for joining me.